sunset at the Pacific. Out here, we're made of cyclone fence and boxes where we store folded sunsets. They could break your will. The dance of being hauled away for sitting, for not taking the invitation to leave, not for now, and the ritual movements will make you keen old songs that you should know. We'll drag from your tongue the language of the gods, of pavement, accusation, the doors and windows in this place don't open. We don't remember how to build them that way. And the ships come and go to a different schedule. I've been practicing reading without the glasses, and now I can't quite make it out with them on. How's that? In the ceremony of belonging, we decorate each other with spirals of razor wire and dance ourselves unbalanced. Unfixable, we burn the family house down. Moth goddess of death seduce me. We will cut each other to watch the wounds heal, admire the strength we stress, measure ourselves against, and know that we can't win the fight we don't start. Circus of the afflicted, I will be your ten-in-one show. We know the ceremony, the song, the poultice, and still we pick at one another like a scab. We choose the scar. Um, not everybody knows this about me, but I'm an awfully good shot. Safety on. I wake up every morning with a Glock in my mind's hand, sewing strips of smoke deer hide over grip, barrel, trigger, squeeze, don't blink. I pick old ceramic patterns, bead them over the slide, over the magazine release, barrel become ripples on a river, blue beads, five at a time count carefully. Every morning, a raven comes, rubs beak against my cheek, struggles off with the dead weapon. I don't know where she goes, holding it down, holding it quiet, sights permanently dimmed, trigger guarded. When Doug applauds, <laughs> I've done it right. I can't breathe. Sing softly the prayers of visibility, and for the survivors, sing twice. Last breaths on sidewalk reveal hidden poems of history, the chewed and ugly thoughts that catch on themselves, snarled, tangled, lethal, Sing prayers, old songs of being seen. Sing our hope for ourselves, last breath. And the chant begins, who is worthy, who chose badly, who wins, who decides. Sew their names neatly on the quilts of story. Sing, sing twice, teach the songs. War song. If you've dreamed of invisibility as a quiet place with no edges, if you've practiced invisibility at the supermarket and in the streets, if you built your own worlds, gradually opened the windows, added mirrors one by one, and sometimes were surprised that you cast a reflection at all, if you had to teach yourself to speak word by word in a language that excluded you and then gradually created yourself there from each coaxed letter, from each sound invented in your moments of transparency, if you are one of the translucent, if you create worlds from your own flesh, 
Meditate on the pavement. Fade steadily in your birth home. If you sing songs from outcast cultures, rejected identities, if you're illegal on the streets, in the toilets, in the schools, and you still build, lay strong words, words that can support the weight of a person, words that can be nailed over windows, the storm is now. And maybe the storm is always. We can see you. We can see you still. I have two more. This is actually written for um, a person who is wearing a hat from my dad's, uh, the one of the ships my dad served on in the Navy. Um, he's flaking old beer bottles into precarious leaves. The summer fog is thick and the shards click and ring and drip in absolute June green. How long can you hold your breath? There's a dry smell in the air, sticky and bitter. How long can you dance to the rhythm of urban leaves, the foliage of walking away? Something must have moved because he wasn't here last week. There's children at Noe and Market tell their mother, this city is filthy. We don't want to be here. Well, you know, you weren't invited. But you're here now, and the seasonal election postcards, amulets, pages from a book were writing about salvation. The postcards blow down Sanchez like fall. There is no other place, nowhere else but here. I'm going to finish with this one. I keep saying it's the last time I'm going to read it. It hasn't been yet. We'll see. Parent and Child Cycle. One. When the first pain hit, I went up on my toes. Birth dances you. And all of the people that stood there breathing for me, speaking just for myself, were of exactly no use. My son and I, we did that dance together, became two people. It's another kind of storytelling. Two, we took the stereotypes in our hands and tore them up. The worlds we have created together, parent and child, person and person, you, curled there and whispered stories of healing into my fever dreams. We have adventured. Three. Cleaning Grandpa's desk, we found the Mary of Shestahova, her black skin rest rendered in silver metal. Isis, by any other name, still brought her lover back from the dead and claimed a son from him. Isis, of sky and wisdom, wrapped in blue as I have been, just feeling the heartbeat, the damp skin, the wonder of a new person. Four, we carefully mark the places where the world changes, pack our borders, our toothbrushes, our walking shoes, rewritten in every watershed, every story shed, children of corn walking north. The sons of corn, performed the magic as they were taught, and the people were fed. We are dusted with pollen. We are walking north. Five. The child shows me the mark of the scorpion on his leg. I show him the mark of the spider on mine. We have walked dangerous miles, he and I, separate parts of the same story. The gods took a handful of corn flour blood, and we were born, danced, went up on our toes, 
You may have been born differently, but this is our story. Six, children in cages, disprayer, and genetic memory offers me panic. Stolen children, the sacred geometry is shattered. We carry our borders, we who are blood and corn. We reach across rivers, we call to our cousins. We burn the copal. Seven. This part of the poem isn't written yet, and we're all going to have to write it together. Thank you. <clears throat> I need to start carrying different hats, because now I'm going to tell you who's going to read here next month. Um, Cassandra Dallet. M.K. Chavez, and uh, a, a very good friend of mine who uh, is also an Oklahoma girl um, named uh, Jenny Davis, who you haven't heard of yet. Her book isn't out yet, but when it comes out, you will all hear of her. Um, she's pretty remarkable. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you to the readers. Can we have another round of applause? Thank you to Ken, who takes such good care of us, everyone. John Smalley, who does very much the same thing. The library. I am restarting my online poetry journal, um, and I, I'm accepting. The first one's curated. But from then on out, I'm accepting submissions. I would also like you to consider if you have a poem about libraries. Our library won a big award. And um, I would, I'm collecting poems that honor it. So poems about books, poems about libraries. Yes? And if any of you don't have my email address, come ask for it. Take care. <laughs>